Alice, it's sort of fiery, divisive talk there, you know, God and country and fighting the left. Is that what this country needs right now? Well, what the country needs and what people in Florida need is what Ron DeSantis is, is delivering, and that is strong economic numbers. Look, Florida right now has a booming economy. They have more people moving to the state than any other state. They have uh, the tourism is doing tremendously well. The unemployment rate in Florida is at 2.7 percent. That's the kind of agenda and message that Ron DeSantis can continue to deliver and convey to the people of Florida that will help him. I happen to think he would be best served if he sort of dialed back a little bit of his woke agenda and focused more on the jobs and economy, economic agenda as more of a successful message. But if, if all that Charlie Chris is going to do is uh, say that Ron DeSantis is a bully taking away your freedom and has no real viable contrast to the strong economic success that DeSantis has delivered to the people of Florida, it is going to be an open shut victory for DeSantis because uh, I worked on Rick Scott's campaign and running for governor in 2010. He ran on jobs, jobs, jobs. DeSantis is delivering on that and that's what the people in the Sunshine State want. Uh, Alice, just very quickly, what, what are the, what's DeSantis's chance of actually running for the Republican primary for 2024 and winning it, defeating Donald Trump? Could he run? Well, a lot, a lot of it has to boil down to whether or not Donald Trump actually gets in, which is still, uh, you know, the $10,000 question. Um, if, if he does not, certainly Ron DeSantis is clearly the front runner. Uh, if Donald Trump does run, this is going to be a really tough, tough decision. Uh, I think what happens with, you know, the January 6th uh, commission and the Mar-a-Lago search is going to have a uh, huge impact uh, on Donald Trump. But but right now, talking with the DeSantis campaign, their number one agenda and number one goal right now is running for uh, re-election, using these last uh, 11 weeks to really galvanize not just the base, but the independents and undecided voters of Florida, win uh, re-election, and really work hard for the people of Florida.